Hey guys, it's Goofy Goofy Balls, and today I have for you guys another tip to help you win some gunfights in Advanced Warfare. And the way we're going to do that is using the EXO movements, specifically the EXO jump ability. So now, most people in this game use the EXO movements to get out of the way of bullets. When they see a gunfight or some danger, they use it to jump around a corner or jump up on top of a building, just to maneuver around places. More, more so to get out of gunfights and stay safe, rather than use them to your advantage in a gunfight. Because really, it's just... It seems more effective to just try to get out of the way than try to aim while you're using one of these exo movements. But what I found is that you can use the exo jump ability and really win some gunfights because that's not what people are expecting you to do. Nine times out of ten, people are going to expect you to exo dash to the left or right, back or front. They're not really going to expect you to jump up in the air just because that takes a little bit longer for you to put into the controller, but not really that much. And you just you just don't see it so often. And so like I was saying before, it might be hard to kind of keep your aim on the person when you're doing this because when you use those extra movements, you move pretty fast and it's hard to adjust your aim accordingly. But for this extra jump tip, what I'm going to tell you guys to do is just to extra jump straight up in the air. Don't try to move left and right. Just jump straight up in the air when you enter one of these gunfights and you think you can use this to your advantage. So I'll show you a couple of clips here in the background where I do just that. I get into a gunfight, and instead of trying to exo dash left or right or something like that, I just exo boost jump straight up into the air. And as you can see, it really does throw off their aim because it's not something they're expecting. Now, it is hard for me to get my aim back on target, and there are a couple times where I do this and I'm not able to get the kill. But with a little bit of practice, I've found that I've been able to do it pretty consistently. Even though it may be hard for you to adjust your aim and keep it on them when you're exo boost jumping in the air, just think that it's also really hard for them to adjust their aim to move it up towards you. And if you can give this a little bit of practice and just get a little bit used to it and get decent at it, you'll be the one with the upper hand. Because when you get into a gunfight, you're pretty sure, I mean, if you know you're going to do this, then you're going to have the advantage. Because when you exo jump, you're already trying to move your aim back down. But they're going to have to react and try to move their aim back up. And again, with a little bit of practice, you'll be able to adjust your aim onto them faster than they can adjust your, their aim onto you and thus be able to get a couple more kills. Now, I just want to be clear that I'm not saying to use this in every single gunfight you ever get into. That would just, you wouldn't want to do that. You wouldn't always try to do one thing when you're in a gunfight, other than kill the other person, obviously. But you got to be able to realize when the best time to use this is. If you're getting in a gunfight and you're kind of near a wall or something like that, and you're pretty sure you can get behind the wall, then go for the wall. It's better to stay alive in this game than try to get the kill when there's a good chance you won't. And I mean, technically, this will probably work when you're out in the open more, like when there's no cover around you and you really have nowhere to go. This would probably be the best strategy for you to help get that kill because that's the only way you're going to stay alive. Because trying to run away, if you're out in the open, no cover, chances are you won't get away. So all I'm trying to say to you guys is just try to use this the smartest way possible. Don't put it into every gunfight because you're not going to win all these gunfights using this tip. It'll help you win certain ones. Just be smart and know when to use it. So that pretty much sums up what I got to talk about in this tip for you guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Or anything you liked about this video, sure, leave it down in the comment. If you guys think you'll find this tip helpful or useful next time you play Call of Duty, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button for me. And if you guys are new around here, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. This has been Goofy Goop the Balls, and I'll catch you all in the next video.